Well, the Australian Chamber of Commerce and Industry says the US has now overtaken China as our main trade partner. Its national trade survey has found that Australian traders are shifting away from China because of geopolitical tensions and the need for market diversification. The results coincide with Anthony Albanese's visit to the US for talks with President Joe Biden. Joining me now live is the Australian Chamber of Commerce and Industry CEO, Andrew McKellar, who is currently in Washington, D.C. with the Prime Minister. Andrew, good to see you. Thank you so much. So you're in the U.S. What's on the agenda and, and what do you hope to achieve over there? Well, hi, Danica. Good, good to be with you. Uh, look, it's an important uh, visit by the Prime Minister and I think there are a number of, of objectives, but from a business uh, point of view, I think that boils down to a couple of things. Uh, firstly, um, the AUKUS uh, pact uh, is at a critical juncture. There's uh, important legislation that has to go through uh, the US uh, Congress uh, and the Prime Minister's uh, support for that, his advocacy for it, uh, with uh, the administration and with, uh, with senior congressional uh, members. Uh, that's something that will be very helpful. Uh, there's a lot riding on that. Uh, so, um, you know, if we want to see things like uh, technology transfer occurring, uh, opening up opportunities for Australian uh, industry uh, to compete and to get access uh, to uh, major defence uh, contracts, then I think that's, uh, that's a big uh, issue. Uh, so clearly uh, the Prime Minister lending his weight to that uh, is, is very important. The other area... Uh, comes out of an agreement that was signed uh, earlier in the year by President Biden and by the Prime Minister when they were in Japan, uh, and that is around uh, areas like uh, critical minerals, uh, uh, climate change uh, and uh, the um, energy transformation that is uh, underway. Uh, so, I mean, there's been work going on between the two governments uh, to open up some possibilities in that space, but now... It comes to the critical stage because there's an opportunity for business uh, to start to get into some of those commercial opportunities. So we need to see that uh, happening. And if, if it can happen, then I think there's really uh, some big dividends that could come Australia's way in the future. So is business then moving towards the US in this space as opposed to China, for example? Well, it doesn't mean that we're, you know, that China's been replaced as Australia's top trading partner. Uh, but what we've seen is clear evidence that more businesses are looking to diversify. And as they're doing so, you know, one of the big established markets and important markets that we have uh, is the United States. And we're seeing some new opportunities there, as I said, you know, with AUKUS and with uh, things like uh, energy transformation, uh, those sorts of opportunities uh, can't be ignored. So I think that's something that business is reacting to. Obviously, there's a lot of challenges. You've got to put uh, some substance uh, uh, into that. Uh, but I think that's where really, um, you know, opportunities like this, the Prime Minister's uh, visit can really help uh, to stimulate some activity out of that. Well, let's talk about that. Of course, the Prime Minister is actually travelling to China next month. What do you hope comes out of it, particularly by way of, of business and industry? Uh, his trip to China? Yes. Oh, look, I think that's also going to be uh, important. And, look, we've seen step by step uh, through the course of this year uh, a stabilisation uh, in terms of the relationship. Uh, I think the Australian government has stood its ground. They've been very responsible, working behind the scenes uh, to uh, try and uh, have a number of trade restrictions progressively removed. And most recently the signal is that the uh, Chinese will uh, step away from or at least pause the, uh, the measures that they have in place on uh, Australian wine exports to China. So, look, uh, what we want to see is uh, that, obviously, you know, China remains a very important uh, market. It is still our number one trading partner. Uh, I think there is a need to diversify, uh, but I do think, uh, you know, in ensuring that those uh, markets that have been penalised in recent years, that we can uh, restore... Uh, the trade opportunities in those areas, then I think that will be a very constructive uh, outcome from the Prime Minister's visit. Uh, the Prime Minister t this morning in the US announced that Microsoft will invest $5 billion into Australian cyber security over the next two years. What does this mean for industry? Do, do you welcome this announcement? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I think it's a, it's a great uh, development and I think it, it points the way as to... 
you know, what some of those uh, future uh, opportunities will be. You know, if we can get in place, uh, you know, the sorts of uh, arrangements that are um, envisaged under AUKUS, if we can get that legislation through the US uh, Congress, then we can see uh, more things like this uh, happening in the future. But it's uh, you know, a significant step, uh, you know, in terms of uh, areas like um, AI and con um, cloud computing. Um, that's uh, that's where some of those opportunities are. Cybersecurity. Uh, these are, are big issues for Australian uh, business, and to have Microsoft uh, boosting its investment uh, in Australia in the in the manner that it's uh, suggested it will, uh, that that will have uh, very real and tangible results. Just before we let you go, what are the ramifications of the war in the Middle East on on business and on industry in Australia? Well, again, one of the things we see in the survey that we've just uh, conducted, there were, uh, you know, a, a couple of issues that were highlighted as the main risks uh, and diversification One of, was one of those. But the other one highlighted by 60% of trading businesses was uh, geopolitical risk. So when we see things uh, like the war in Ukraine, uh, like the instability that's now uh, arising in the Middle East, uh, obviously those are issues that lead to a greater uncertainty in the global uh, economic and trading environment. So that is a concern uh, to business uh, and, um, you know, that, that will have uh, some real impacts uh, in the period ahead. Andrew McKellar, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Great to be with you.